It's early morning, 350 kilometers north of the Arctic Circle. Reindeer herder Reuf Alexanderson is on his way to the mountains near Tromsø. It is here in the Arctic where climate change is happening much faster than anywhere else in the world. And he's responding by doing something that reindeer herders here have never done before. He's feeding his herd, roaming freely in the wilderness. If nature doesn't provide enough food for the animals during the whole year, they simply have to be fed by us, so we can live off of them. But it's crazy, providing concentrates so that we can eat meat. It doesn't make sense, but we have no other choice. For centuries, reindeer were able to find enough to eat in the mountains, even in winter. They can find grass and moss several meters under the snow. It sounds paradoxical, but the increased temperatures make it almost impossible for the reindeer to find food. Reuf Alexanderson explains the problem. Here we can see it very clearly. This is the ground here. The snow is very wet, but the ground should be frozen. It's very easy right now to just stick your finger in there and touch soil in December. That's far from normal. It becomes problematic for the animals when it gets colder. The wet snow turns into a hard layer of ice and blocks access to the ground. The reindeer can no longer reach the plants with their hooves. They need to move on and find new grazing areas elsewhere. But this would mean that Reuf and his family could lose their herd and thus their livelihood. Climate change is impacting the Alexandersons on yet another level. To produce sustainable electricity, one of the biggest wind parks in Europe is being built here with the help of German technology and investment. The goal is to have 67 wind turbines. I don't have other grazing areas besides these. I don't know how it's going to be. I have friends who breed reindeer in Sweden. They say reindeer just don't live in wind parks. They disappear. If the animals see wind turbines, they'll leave. Reuf has always hoped to pass on the herd to his children, just like many generations of Sami people have done before. But now he's skeptical. He doubts that the reindeer will exist in the region when his children are grown up.